West, uh, just creating lots of humidity and lots of clouds actually near Refugio and Beaver. We saw a good chunk of thunderstorms head through there earlier this afternoon to Kingsville. But out north into central and uh, the panhandle activity really stays light, mostly clear thanks to high pressure to our north and out to our east. And you can see a lot of the activities either in the uh, uh, Rocky Mountain Northwest or out in the Gulf of Mexico. Lots of tropical moisture begins to fluctuate into the coastal band. That's what's really going to lead to a slightly elevated chance of some showers for your weekend into Labor Day. Uh, it kind of tapers off by Monday, but the chance will be there for some scattered showers and some isolated thunderstorms in the forecast for your Labor Day weekend. Now it is hurricane season and we are in the peak of it. So you can tell by this graph uh, between about mid August to about mid September, we see the peak of activity occur this time of year based on average. Uh, storms, but tropical satellite showing it relatively quiet. We do have a little bit of disturbance out uh, just north of the Dominican Republic and out east uh, just off the coast of the Africa. But what we're really, really tracking is that little disturbance out in the Caribbean, and that's going to slowly move northwest into the uh, Florida Peninsula in the next coming days. Now that's going to create some uh, uh, chance of rain in the forecast for later on next week. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to develop into much Has a very low shot, about a one in 10 shot of developing into anything. But watch what happens on this model. It slowly shifts off west into the Louisiana coast and out towards Houston. That'll help give us the opportunity of rain into midweek next week and as well as in the next week.